This is a quick walk around of the new model, C3 Plus. Plus because it's a bit longer. To look at, it's a bit hard to see where the extra length is, but it is, you can see it here. This is where the bench ends, and that's where the C3 pantry ends. So you have an extra 50 litres of uh, pantry space here. One extra benefit for uh, vertically challenged people is you can come along the side here and actually reach these higher shelves um, a lot easier, of course you're much closer to the camper. It's the same kitchen, same, same stove top, same slide, everything here is the same. But that extra length allows us to add an internal ensuite and toilet as well as the bunk beds, which we'll have a look at now. So coming inside, ensuite is on the right. So that's the ensuite there. This is the pre-production model. The production models will have a, a little uh, drop-down sink there and it will have a little shelf there in the corner. That's obviously the uh, toilet. Again, it's a Tetford cassette toilet, a little bit different. You can swivel that uh, seat around if you wish. There's a vent in the roof with a fan, two-way fan extractor, air in, air out. Same hot water system, instantaneous gas, connected to both the shower and the uh, kitchen. So as we come out of there, you can see the bunk beds. So just like the other models that we have in the range, this backrest that flips up becomes a uh, double bunk with a little ladder which adds as a support which we clip in there, adds as a support and also um, access to the top bunk. We have storage underneath that bottom bunk and that is something else that the production models will have different in that we'll have um, drawers there and the uh, Stereo equipment will be shifted to the side. Uh, as you can see, that's where the hot water system uh, control unit is. The hot water system is underneath that uh, bed there. And uh, so there is a bit of storage un underneath there. Half of it's taken up with the hot water system, but there is a bit more storage there. We have the same storage unit here. As you can see, obviously, it's a bit longer than the C3. TV is there, storage drawers underneath the bed there, and also one difference is this bed lifts up to reveal the batteries. Uh, the back of the switch panel, that switch panel is actually going to be perpendicular to the way it is now, so it's more easily accessible from the side uh, door, and then you have that really large storage area um, underneath. Got some show paraphernalia in there, but that's a good place for table chairs and all kinds of stuff in there. So this unit has the optional air conditioner, same window uh, setup and arrangement with your uh, 12 volt sockets on the side with your um, reading lights, overhead lights. So as you can see, you have more room inside here. A lot of head height, a lot of ventilation. So we go outside. So the cassette for the cassette toilet is accessible there.
The awning sits a little bit differently because of the extra length. Sealed all the way along there. The awning comes around, wraps around, protects the fridge area. So there's the fridge. The awning goes beyond the fridge. So especially when you add the walls, the walls come out at an angle. Um, you have really good weather protection under here. So these walls, if they're optional, but they come out at an angle. You get really good uh, weather protection, wind and rain. So the same slide as I said before. The front setup is uh, identical to the other two models, C3E, C3. Just walk around the front. So that's a massive storage uh, slide there. Again, got sales for paraphernalia there for the show we're going to this week. Maybe. And storage drawer, storage area rather. And as I said before, that uh, switch panel comes out perpendicular. Uh, the 240 volt, uh, that's the RCD. We have um, two sockets there, uh, inlet there, and two sockets on the inside. That is all uh, standard. Uh, we have the water filler here, and I should note that the uh, water tank setup is the same as a C3E. That is, there's a 120 litre tank in front of the axle. Behind the axle, there is an uh, 80 litre tank. Both of those are for drinking water, uh, and uh, called blue water. And then you have an extra uh, 80 litre grey water tank behind the axle. So 160 litres behind. 120 in front. The vent for the uh, hot water system. Have some lighting on this side as well. Just so if you have to come around here and access anything, you can see what you're doing. Lighting in all of the storage boxes. Yeah, so this is uh, C3 Plus has proved to be popular already. We've only taken it to one show and uh, we're um, really uh, pleased with how it's been uh, accepted by uh, people coming in and having a look. There we have it, C3 Plus.